In this video I'll show you how to create a grid in Adobe Illustrator that you can later use for your web design and also in Adobe Photoshop. When working with 72 pixels per inch, points and pixels are actually the same size which makes it really easy when using grid calculator. In this example I'm going to use 960 pixels as width and 768 pixels as height. Now I can go ahead and enter that as points here since we are working with 72 pixels per inch. So let's go ahead and enter 960 points here and click the set as width button and also 768. For the letting I'm going to enter 12 points and then I'm going to press copy settings. Okay let's create a new document in Adobe Illustrator and make sure that uh, the width and height is the same and press OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to press Command V or Control V if you're on a PC and uh, I'm going to use this number as my reference when I create the grid and I'm actually going to draw lines so um, let's use the horizontal offset to begin with so let's go to effect distort and transform and then transform now as copies I'm going to choose 64 instead of this number because if we go into grid calculator you can see that it's a total of 64 now the number of image lines is always one less but since we're working with web design grid here we're going to use this number instead so let's go ahead and enter 64 there and then it was 15 points and check the preview and uh, press OK then I'm going to do another line here I'm going to enter the correct letting number so do the same thing here effect distort and transform and then transform and uh, I'm going to enter minus 12 points and 64 here as well and click preview and then OK I'm going to change the color of of these lines to 50% um, black then I'm going to go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and then just press Save and click Save. I just quickly want to go into Adobe Photoshop and show you the resolution of the image, which should be 72 pixels per inch which you can see here and as width 960 pixels and as height 768 pixels so what I want to do now is I want to go to Adobe Dreamweaver okay this is the last step in uh, Adobe Dreamweaver so let's create a new document and I'm going to save that document and then I'm going to go under modify page properties and I'm going to set the margins to zero and I'm going to set the background image as the grid image that we created uh, one last step you have to set the repeat as repeat Y and then apply so if you use this as your reference when you're doing your web grid, you should be able to create a perfect web grid. 